and pushed three straight turrets to end the game in 28 minutes. Oh, they yes. swept OMG. If any team is going to make this composition work in the World Championships at the final, it's Royal. All right, here we go. Into game two of our best of five at the World Finals. SKT takes the blue side. Royal's choice in game two. They do go for red. So on that zone of faking, meanwhile, putting the pressure onto Whites, but Whites still doing a good job keeping up that CS farm. Yeah, but SKT is already invading the Royal jungle because as we said, Royal's uh -oh. early lanes are extremely weak. And even though Whites, oh, he's a little too low for this. <laughs> Behind the turret, they go in. It's a one-two kick punch. Impact's just there to take a Polaroid. He wanted to say hello. He wanted to be part of the gang flying through, but are a possibility for SKT. Great execution as well. And the dives that Royal Honestly, we're kind of famous for coming into this one, but it seems to have backfired on this time around. Uzi getting focused on Mandu, going to lock him up. Barrier being burned there, but now he's putting pressure back on Mandu. Piglet goes aggressive, Whoa. a little too close on that turret, but fortunately for Tabe. Oh. oh, the snipe from Piglet, but now White's coming around the backside. He's trying to lock it down. This was the teleport to the bottom lane. If they can pull up a double kill here, it'll be worth it for White into the ward, but he gets oh. locked up. He's going to be forced to get the one. Lucky gets the other. So what seemed like a bad move by Uzi was actually a bait. If he could have dodged that Mystic shot, it would have been a clean two for O because Piglet and Manju were bloodthirsty going for that one. It still works out in the benefit of Royal. The teller preventing Royal from actually grouping up, grouping up as five and getting anything. The other position alongside Piglet, 2v2. Two carries, they would have dove for that one, but it seems that nerves may well have got to Royal because they are questioning themselves. And we can see Impact even taking a different stride in this game. Blade of the Rune King actually coming out onto Jax instead of the Triforce build this time. Looking to continue these fights, make sure the objectives are even in their favor once they get to that point. Siege onto this turret, but Royal does have a bit better siege. There it is! Stop this time! Mr. Crescendo goes out, and Cres Lucky goes in! Crescendo and Equalizer landing, but Piglet's still alive at the back there. Lucky will go down. Trisha Barrage does not land on anyone. Godlock like keeping the pressure on. SKT are running away from this Whoa. one. It's going to be a double kill for White! They keep going in. Godlike's now in the fray. The Flame Spitter is shut off there. Coming in by Faker. They're looking for the cooldowns, but they're in the middle of the fight, getting torn up. Apart, the kick back, but the hit to the face before he gets away. Can they chase down Faker? White is going to try and cut him off with a rip walk, and Faker realizes it. He's going to try and jump back onto Uzi. Barry is available, though. Who will get the kill? It's going to be White. Faker's going to try and finish it off, but that is a lot of kills for White. I want to. An ace for Royal Club, and they're still down 3,000 gold. Let's consider how far behind they actually were before that fight, and how incredible it is that they were able to win that one. Once they get an edge in a fight, they can chase down. They only really caught Piglet, but look how Manju also stuck around to try and land the counter engage. That's why everyone picks Sarah. It's for the counter engage, but there was only one wave of that. White and Uzi get to continue the chase. Force Pulse on top of him, smacks him down, double kill straight off the bat, and then Uzi was untouched throughout all that. Since it was Royal who were the ones who picked that team fight, no one in SKT got to hit him, and he was freely chasing them down, even with the gargantuan gold. Uh, now going over to Whites this time, you can see Uzi taking a side, side step They're on gonna this. They're gonna try to steal this. <laughs> They will. No. Nope. It's going to be the dragon after, so at least the true shot barrage is down. This is going to give them safety, but no, they find Tave. The wards are going to be in their favor, and they've wasted quite a bit. Now to go back on impact. They're going back on impact. He may be able to flash away from this one. He does, and that's going to be Royal back in a way. The equalizer Whoa. goes down from Godlike. A little aggressive there. Who's he coming around the side? That's going to be a force balls coming out. SK Telecom actually forced to back away from this one. Lucky going deep. He wants to White still Ooh. trying to get in with that Force Pulse. That is going to be down Ooh. as he's waiting for it to come back up. Everybody getting quite low here. A good amount of damage taken across both teams, Ooh. but it looks like they are still pressuring Dragon. There is still a Jarvan ultimate up, and we could still see a Lee Sin kick for an engage. Lucky goes in. Where's the Jarvan ult? There, wow. Burst of damage coming straight through. Uzi getting in there on towards Faker. Faker trying to go aggressive, but he will get shut down by Uzi. They're going to keep on chasing. It's going to be impact the next target. You can see the Counter Strike jumps away with that Leap Strike just in time. But Piglet, he's out of position he's running around the back still trying to get the chase in will he be able to pick anybody off that he has low health Ezreal does have the dick Ooh, oh kicked away he doesn't get the attack <laughs> that time this time Bengi stays alive in that situation but they are still everyone oh! the mystic shot threads it past godlike it's gonna be the one for one also going down a kill coming in from oh! white back and forth on the board 13 to 11 piglet comes up with a lone man double kill Absolute chaos after that one. Royal had the upper hand. Oh. Can he catch? Oh. oh. Wide left. So Whew. that fight 
was Royal winning and then Royal absolutely overcommitting. So watch the burst that went to Pumandu from White's glass cannon Cassidy. And then Faker went in for Tabe. Ill-advised because the carries of Royal are Cassidy and Vayne. They chase, but at this point, you have to stop chasing. There's a dragon up that hasn't been taken, and they did not expect Piglet to be around the back. So as they overcommit is when Piglet decided to show himself and pick up some kills in the back. The kick came right as Whites was trying to finish him off. And then as they were working on impact, Piglet ran them down from the backside. That could have just been a Royal Control Dragon after two kills, but instead it keeps the game even and actually extends SKT's gold lead ever so slightly. So absolutely crazy, these fights. Like I said, they want all the vision they can get out of this fight. Impact getting a little aggressive there. Everybody's getting antsy. But Tabe's flash is down for an initiation, and that's because Whites wasn't near for this one. SKT's gonna take some Baron control off of this one. Yeah, Tabe taken away from that one. Oracle on Bengi. May well Ooh. force Godlike. He's gonna get caught out. The kick comes in. Impact's gonna follow on through. Godlike gets kicked back in towards him. He's gonna get created. He's gonna get dropped down. Equalizer was down in time, though. Uzi gets caught out. He's in trouble. Looks like Uzi may make it out. He forces the flash. Gets another oh. rush. The Can he oh, he puts on the barrier. No, Impact gets the leap strike. They take him down, though, as White's coming in from the back. And Lucky tries to hit him. The crescendo White comes is in. White is in all sorts of trouble, but the Zonya's out. That's his perfectly placed. Can he get out? Force boss comes out. No, Piglet is there. Tabe's in trouble. He's going to go down. Piglet's tanking down the turret. And look at Piglet. <laughs> Lucky's just in all sorts of trouble. He's like, what do we do? What do we do? I give a triple kill to Piglet. A five for one by SKT because they got the fight when Royal was not ready for it. Cassid and Sona are missing at the start of this fight. So Godlike, despite throwing down his equalizer, everyone on Royal tries to save him because Royal knows that they've actually been winning a lot of these fights previously, so they were willing to take this engagement. And as well as Uzi can kite, SKT can chase even better. Then White gets forced into over committing here. He gets caught by a grasping roots. His entire health bar almost goes away. That's the danger of the glass cannon Cassidy and Piglet's scary Ezreal just finishes the job while taking the turret. We see the turret going down in the top lane and the mid. Can they do it twice? They need another type of miracle fight where Whites can get in at the end and specifically where Royal could catch an initiation. But because they're down five turrets to one, it's so difficult for them to even think about this Baron. SKT normally just baits for kills and right now, this is going to be a steal attempt for Lucky. Doesn't get it. Two Blade of the Rune Kings crushing down Baron, and then possibly a Lucky. The crescendo from the backside, but it's only to try and help. The disengage is there. Quite a bit was used just from over the wall, and that leaves Royal to have a hard defense now in the mid turrets. It's the turret kills that gave SKT that chance. And Lee Sin had the added benefit of timing his resonating strike with his smite to spike more Baron damage down and made it so Lucky could not steal. If you remember the Fnatic series, Lucky secured multiple what we call 50-50 Barons when it's a smite war. This time, Bengi gets it, and SKT might push hard. Big lit and uh, go. They don't have Crescendo available. Tabe getting caught out. Look at that. Godlike went down in a split second. Didn't even get to catch its health bar. It is going to be SK Telecom rushing straight in. That's going to be the first inhibitor of the game. And they're going to back away. White's trying to get the burst now. No, Piglet's going to follow. Piglet trying to get into the kill. They are easily going to wipe these guys out. Piglet flashes out. The Baron buff keeping him healthy now. They're now onto Lucky. Uzi doing what he can, but it's only from the outside trying to make something happen. The true shot barrage misses, but it leaves Uzi limping away. What a push there by SKT. They had the Baron buff. They knew they could take fights, and Piglet is playing out of his mind this game on Ezreal. Always going in right after White uses his Rift Walk on Kasten, so he is safely trading damage back on Kasten without the threat of assassination. This fight all started because Faker finished off Godlike, so they did not have to worry about Rumble. But specifically, watch the way Faker keeps his distance. We actually don't have time for that because Faker's going for more. Faker gets the kill. Uzi backs the hell away from that one, doesn't want a part of that. Piglet becoming a beast, Faker becoming a beast, SK Telecom are deadly right now. If you can keep that up, you'll prevail. See what they can do going into this Mandu. Working the oracles, making sure they have vision on the left side. You can see Royal, no wards in their jungle either. So SKT has a safe exit here if something does go wrong. There's so much damage built up from these carries right now that the moment someone gets remotely close, you see Tabe removed from the map. You see Uzi even just dropped before you even see that health bar going down, and they're just poking his turret. There's nothing Royal can do to defend it. Yeah, I think we're going to see a hard engage from Royal very quickly. 
<laughs> there it is, straight away, Crescendo coming down, Equalizer are going to follow, Impact actually take a very low, but look at that, the turnaround damage from SKT. It looks like they're going to continue under the turret, Bengi is the one tanking, and he gets out on a safe safeguard, if you will, Uzi oh. finds a kill, oh. no, take it from White, they continue under Pumandu, Piglet now in the eyes of Royal. The chase is strong, Piglet's going to get caught out, but look at that, Sonya's oh. not going to him, Piglet gets away, and that's going to be White's in trouble, oh. a turnaround coming out from SK Telecom, just as Royal thought they could chase, SK Telecom are back in control. These fights are decided by inches right now, oh. and small ticks of health bars. This could be the game for SKG, but no, they're blinking red. They're just trying to take more advantages, and wow, this is a Royal team not giving up without a fight. Home Guards looks like it is the saving grace here for Royal. They're able to get enough HP back into the base, and that's just God, like the only one left up in that fight, and he was almost taken down there in the end. Yeah, and look at how they barely went for impact, nearly just took him out of the fight, and how the turn happened. It's all about Uzi and White and how they stayed healthy. There was a QSS that got popped very early by Uzi to stop the Faker death mark, and once he was out of the picture, it was chase time for Royal. But watch, we've been talking about Piglet playing out of his mind. He waits till this moment to use the barrier, gets it with the shield as well, from Lee Sin, and then since Uzi was surely dead, he had to flash away, and that was a rare miscalculation from Uzi, thinking he would finish the kill on a piglet before he flashed away, and he was just wrong. What a crazy, crazy engage. Royal, do not count them out. They will be the next focus target for SK Telecom, and I'm still not sure if Royal can fight for it. And Royal is still showing some proficiency for fighting because even with the Baron buff in that last push, it was an extremely close fight for SKT. If Tabe gets a crescendo in the right spot, it oh. could give them something, but knowing that there's a QSS, it makes it more dangerous. World doesn't care about fighting early. The jump in from Impact, the Equalize, the laser on the red carpet, but they're all off of it already. They've entered into the fight. Royals health bars are just getting demolished. Uzi on the outside trying to do what he can, but it's not gonna be enough. Uzi's chased into the base, and SKT wipes him for the ace, the Quadra <laughs> for Piglet. Oh. Bengi stealing, stealing the quarter there, just getting the pen to the end. But it's going to be SK Telecom taking this game. Strong performance in game two once again. Royal put up a great fight, lots of kills back and forward. But it's SK Telecom taking game two in the World Finals. It's only going to take eight more minutes than the last game. They solidify it, and they do it just as last time. That was a much closer affair from the first one, but really, SK Telecom pulled it together after some mid-game hiccups. You really have to credit that Ezreal from Piglet making the correct plays in the team fights, being able to play around White's glass cannon Cassidy, and you can tell Royal is on the ropes right now.